do. Oh, no, 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 wait, what am I doing? This, I need to go the other way. That's right. I need to head over this direction. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. The wood is this way. What was I thinking? Of course, I need to be over here. Wait, I need to do an introduction first. That's what I need to do. Oh, oh, you're all here already. Um, well, that's awkward. Well, I guess we'll get started. Um, welcome, everyone. My name is Foxfoil. And today I'm starting this series to just share with you my adventures in Minecraft. Hopefully there will be some things that you find enjoyable along the way. Uh, I'm going to show off some builds, go see what dangers we might find in the deep dark, um, and all the other fun and exciting things that come with playing Minecraft. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with the initial resource gathering that we all have to do before the first night. really like where this world seed starts out at um just having the river down below the wood that's just right up here with the oak and the birch wood it's going to be perfect especially early game where you tend to need a lot of wood for different things uh, so let's go ahead and get some oak wood i think to start with <sighs> this takes so long i need an axe the early game part i always forget how long it takes to punch the wood all right just about there of course, we all know not to leave any floating trees. That's just the worst. Let's get some planks together and then we can craft the table. And then once we get the table, we can get an ax. So let's get some more planks, some sticks, and then we'll craft a pick ax because we're going to need that later and then an ax. All right. So I'm going to get some more wood. It's going to take a little bit. And then once I finish getting the wood, I'll bring you back in and we'll go ahead and get some other items together before it's nightfall. Got all the wood I need. Now it's about finding some wool for a bed. Um, so we're going to need to get a sword. Let's get the table down. And a wood sword should be fine for right now. Definitely going to need to upgrade that for later. All right. Oh, some of these shaders have some glitchy spots. All right. Let's go ahead and find a good spot where we, where I can sleep for the night. Just need, you know, the initial first night, always about finding the right spot. This area is so nice with the mountains, the river that's right down here. We've got some ravines as well. Let me see what's over. No, down here is just a little bit too far. I think I want to go over to the ravine that's over here. All right, I'm going to find some wool, get a bed, and then we'll connect back up. It's close, but I was able to get this room all built up right as it got dark outside. So now that I'm safe in here, I gotta get some food cooked, uh, found some food items that will be cookable. Definitely in need of food, starving over here. So this little area is nothing fancy, as you can see, just cut into the stone, but I think it'll be good enough for sleeping in and it'll keep me safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep, let the food cook and see you in the morning. Look at this guy. Look at this guy just trying to peek in here, disguising himself. Oh, that's not good. All right. Uh, got some food cooking. Gonna need to get some stone tools together. Drop some of these items off here just to clear out the inventory a bit. And then let's deal with this creeper situation. All right. Okay. He's he's moved up. That's, that's let's, okay. He's fallen in the water. This is perfect. All right. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. All right. It's fine. It's fine. And there we go. Okay. All right. And one more. One more. There we go. Okay. Got the skeleton. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ah. All right. All right. It's good. Perfect. All right. So here's the outside. I 
Just got these oak logs around. Let's get some torches out, actually, and that'll help prevent some mobs from spawning right outside the door like that. Because we don't need that anymore. Nope, nope, nope. All right. I'm going to drop these items off, and we'll keep going on with the next step. In addition to getting the outside done there, I've got these stairs over here, which make it a little bit easier to get out and then also hold back this water. I should probably have just filled that in, but I'm gonna need to get a staircase built up because right now I just have to jump up all these layers. Um, but before I can do that, I need to get some more resources and also need some resources to be able to get a starter house together. So the best way to do that is a nice little speed run of some wood chopping and some stone mining. just the best way to get resources so now that we've got the resources i've got this area laid out for the starter house and i really like this area i mean you just have this view of the river over here and then the mountain here and the front door is going to end up right here and so you just walk out and see the mountain it's perfect then you also notice that um, over here is actually um, the ravine that we that I set up the initial spot. So you can see right down here, that's where the initial spot was. But now, this is where the starter house is gonna be. And I've got these four corners laid out just to kind of help get it set up. And then over here are the resources that I've gathered. Nice little mix of things. Some pretty basic stuff. I mean, this is nothing fancy. So this is just to get started. It's just the initial building. But let's get it going.
So here is the finished product. Um, I know it's basic. I know this is, this is nothing fancy, just some cobblestone, some oak, materials that have been in the game for a long time. So we got none of the new stuff, but I really like how it turned out. I think this is a great place to start with. And then you may have noticed with the time lapse, it kind of started a little bit into the build process. I had some issues with the initial um, recording, and so I had to cut out some of it. But what I want to do now is show you some of the landscaping that we're going to do. For the landscaping, I'm going to need some bone meal, and then I'm going to put some paths in. So I got the bone meal, and then I want to have a path coming out from the front door going over here to the right. Um, so kind of stagger these a little bit, make it kind of curve around, and then let's see, just go some there, and there. All right, this is coming along. Okay, so we got this corner coming. And it's going to end up over here. So just stagger these a little bit. And then I want to get some dirt for the front of this. Um, okay, so it's coming. So this is what I've got done in the inside so far. It's not very much, just kind of got some chest in, got some of the lighting in around here, and then the bed and a few more chests. So for these chests, we're going to put most of our stuff in. And then I've got these stone walls, kind of just set it off and then the furnaces over here. So nothing crazy. Um, so let's get some dirt and put that in front because right now these path blocks are just right on the edge. So I want to have a little bit more space. So fill that in. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. All right. So now this looks good. I think I'm going to put some bone meal in just kind of scatter this around. And it really helps make the building kind of fit into the area as opposed to just resting on top of it. So you just kind of scatter it in. This is pretty basic landscaping, nothing crazy. And then bring it all the way around. Um, there we go. I think that's good. And then we'll just kind of add dot in a few of these two tall grass. Um, so that will kind of help as well. So just a little bit here and there. Nothing too much. Don't want to overdo it and have them all over the place. But that way, it just makes the building kind of feel like it's part of the landscape as opposed to sitting on top of it. So there we go. So just a little bit more. I think that looks good. I gotta have these flowers not right in the path because that wouldn't make sense. Um, so we'll kind of take out some of these. That way that keeps the path clear and then kind of come around and then we've got a few more here. So that way it just looks like the path comes through um, and it's not got stuff growing in the middle of the path because we don't want it to be overgrown. We just want it to fit within the landscape. So that looks pretty nice. All right, the next thing that I want to do is put in a pen for some sheep and some cows. I'm going to use this cobblestone to create sort of a almost a circle, kind of an irregular circle shape going around here. So I'm just kind of randomly placing these, sometimes putting two, sometimes putting one. Um, and then we're going to mix in some stairs and some uh, oak fences so that way we can kind of create this sort of irregular um, shape out of it so kind of just bring this back around a few more kind of coming around closing off this end of the circle and then we're going to leave three spaces here where we're going to put oh let's see let's get rid of this one here so i have three spaces so now we're going to add in these oak fences kind of make it so that cows can't, and sheep can't jump over the cobblestone. So we've got the stairs, and then just kind of add in a fence post here. And then, let's see, let's do a stair here, and then fence post there. And just kind of work our way around. Um, no, I don't like that. That doesn't look good. Okay, so we kind of come jump up, up over here. Make this one go up there. So we kind of want to just have irregular shapes as we go through. So that's why we have the stairs. So that it's not all just one size. Um, so sometimes we'll put the stairs on top and then we'll just add a fence post. And then let's see, um, you know, do a stair here. No, let's do a fence post and one up there. Add that around. Then I think I'm gonna do a stair on top, 
and right here, another fence post. And what we can do is put a stair underneath here so it looks like it's on something. And then one more, oops, okay, let's get that rid of that one. There we go. And another fence post. There we go. So now we're going to test it to see can you jump out? So that's what we want to make sure is that no sheep or cows can jump out. And so we'll just do that. There we go. So that makes it so they can't jump out. Oh, wait, no, that, okay. They can just jump right out there. Mm, okay. And that they're going to be able to jump through as well. So I think what we're going to do is put a staircase. Stairs there. And then that will work. Uh oh, okay. So I'm going to sleep here. Oh, actually, I think we have time. Let's get some bone meal around. Sun's going down. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. All right. Um, ooh, okay. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Right. Close the door and sleep. There we go. All right. It's been a little bit of time. I'm going to put some farmland in to grow some wheat to be able to get the cows and the sheep in the pen. So I'm just going to put in this little space here. Just keep kind of make it a little bit. No straight lines, just a little over here, a few more. It's actually it's probably too far. Yeah, I think this is too far. Okay, well, we'll just plant it around the water. I don't think it'll reach. All right, right around here. I don't have enough seeds for this entire spot, uh, so I'm going to have to wait for this to grow to be able to get some more. So all I've got is this one bone meal, which is not going to help for the rest of it. All right, so I've got some coarse dirt that I put in while I was waiting for the wheat to grow. Um, we're still waiting on it, as you can see. And then it kind of just comes around here. And then on the inside, I've done some more work as well. So, oops, all right. Um, so we've got this rug here in the middle, added these plants in on these shelves, and then the lighting over here lit up this area as two. And then we've got a picture frame and the bed over here. Uh, I think that this is pretty coming along pretty nicely. Um, it's going to take a while for this wheat to grow, and then obviously I haven't gotten any more. I've added some stone in as well to kind of mix up the cobblestone, break it up so it's not all the same pattern. And so this pen is just about done, but it needs some more, uh, some sheep and some cows. Um, maybe a pig, maybe this pig. All right, but I think that that's a good spot for today, so thanks so much for joining me.